Well, CBS News and The Washington Post have obtained White House records of former President Trump's activities on January 6th, and they reveal a nearly eight hour gap in entries in his call log and daily diary. Now, this raises important questions about just what Trump was doing all that time and whether he was making calls on so-called burner phones, which are disposable and untraceable. Washington Post reports that records of Trump's phone calls turned over to January 6th investigators have a seven hour and 37 minute gap from just before the insurrection started until right around the time the police started clearing the Capitol. What's up, everybody? Major Retire Richard Ojeda here, and there is an almost eight hour gap in the White House phone logs on January the 6th. This surprises no one, and it should absolutely enrage everyone. The criminal case against Donald Trump and the insurrectionists who conspired with him is so crystal clear that if any non-political figure had committed half the atrocities that this inhumane orange parasite committed that day, they would have been sitting in federal penitentiary within 30 seconds and would be rotten there for the rest of their lives. Well, White House phone logs turned over to the January 6th committee reportedly show a seven hour gap in Trump phone calls that very day. According to those reports, the panel is now investigating whether the former president used back channels or burner phones to communicate with others, including during the attack on the Capitol. And this all comes as members of the January 6th panel voted unanimously to hold former Trump aides Peter Navarro and Dan Scavino in contempt for refusing to comply with a congressional subpoena to testify. The full House House votes later this week to send the contempt of Congress citations to the Justice Department for potential prosecution. And guess what? Co-conspirators Fox News, who are more than happy to be complicit with destroying America to prop up their quarterly profit margins, spent a grand total of 37 seconds covering this story. Yeah, Trump hid literally eight hours of incriminating phone calls where he conspired to ruin American democracy. But forget that. In other news, liberals are against Dr. Seuss, and we're spending the next four hours dissecting this diabolical plot to sabotage America through children's books. That's Fox News for you. Among the many things that jumps out in your reporting was the former president's denial of knowing what a burner phone is. Explain what role a burner phone plays in this and what more you've learned about that. So we've heard, based on our reporting, that the committee is looking into whether this gap uh, and other omitted records are because President Trump or someone close to him scrubbed the record. And if not that, was it because the calls were being made on outside lines, maybe on staffers' personal phones? other phones that were bought uh, at, at convenience stores that are so-called burner phones, which are disposable personal phones that are, are not meant to be used for a long period, but enable people to have calls without being tracked in the government record. It's obvious Trump and his anti-American troop of looters and pillagers used burner phones so they could avoid all traces of their blatant criminal actions against America. And of course, we know Peter Navarro and Dan Scavino refused to testify and are being held in contempt. And this is how the whole thing is going to go. Trump and his crime circle have no choice but to dig in. And it's sick that the hoodwinked MAGA morons are too moronic to realize they're giving him the leverage to dig in deeper, thereby destroying their own country in the process. Trump should have been removed in shackles on January the 6th. Anything less is an insult to everything this country has fought for through our history. Yet we have partisan morons who are so blinded by their indoctrination into their sham politics that they'd sell out their American existence with a smile on their face to the absolute picture of the worst, most corrupt, dirty politician in the history of the country in Donald Trump. That's what's killing America. People are so stupid, they will literally jump off a cliff because they worship Donald Trump for no other reason than Fox News tells them to. And that is an undeniable fact. Look, justice moves slowly and there is cause and purpose for that. But Trump has abused the power of political office so egregiously to put himself above the law and there are so many people both willing and others simply witless to comprehend that are complicit in that abuse. The very thing that keeps America free is under direct siege by these people. The January 6th coup failed. The people behind it are motivated and driven by pure insatiable greed, pure hatred, and they have the backing of the purely stupid blind masses. Thankfully, there's still a minority, and thankfully, that still matters, despite their efforts to remove American freedom and fill it with their autocratic evil empire. But it's a danger. It's a danger when an absolute bombshell incrimination like this that should absolutely destroy and imprison Donald Trump and the entire mega cults gets shoved under the rug. And it's a vision of what Russia looks like, an empirical crime regime with propaganda in place of journalism. Remove your god-awful partisan loyalty that keeps your lips glued to Donald Trump's butt and think about it objectively for more than 30 seconds. The 
number one deal breaker for supporting anybody is if they're against democracy. You don't vote for somebody to take your vote away. You're voting your own country away if you do that. It's not an opinion. By definition, it is basically anti-American. So wake up, people. No innocent person goes out of their way to hide eight hours of communications that just coincidentally happened during a deadly coup that you're alleged to have committed. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.